Hey Bladers! Welcome to another episode of the Beyblade Burst Rising Champion Series. As some of you may know, the World Championship just wrapped up. It was super exciting to see Bladers around the world participate in this world level event. So here's a recap and highlight of the Beyblade Burst World Championship 2018. Top leaders from 24 countries made it to the Beyblade Burst World Championship of 2018 in Paris. Let's go over the point system really quickly here. The first blader to 3 points will win their battle. You can score points 3 different ways. A burst finish will get you 2 points, a ring out finish will get you 1 point, and a survivor finish will get you 1 point. 24 bladers were separated into 4 different pools, and they battled it out in some intense matches to claim their spots in the quarterfinals. The battles were fierce, but out of the 24 bladers, only 8 of them can go to the quarterfinals. From Korea, we have Shin Sang Hyun. From the United States of America, Pyle. From Canada, we have Zeno. From Brazil, Buster Dash. From Latvia, Balanced Defender. From Singapore, Cackle. And from Vietnam, Hui Ming Kang. And from Taiwan, Shuai Shuai. If you were able to watch the matches in the quarterfinals, then you know there were so many exceptional plays and many close calls. The pressure was on, because only four of the eight bladers get to move on to the semifinals. Oh. Shin Seng Hyun from Korea, Zeno from Canada, Balance Defender from Latvia, and Shrai Shrai from Taiwan battled their way to victory and claimed their spots in the semifinals. Is everybody having fun? Yeah. All right! Yeah, of course we are! The semifinals is where it really started heating up. The two bladers that win their matches in the semifinals will get to move on to the final round. The two bladers will battle it out and the winner will claim the title of world champion. The first bracket in the semifinals was Shin Sang Hyun from Korea versus Zeno from Canada. During this first match, both bladers used the same energy layer in their combos, but Shin Sang Hyun took the lead and won by survivor finish. He was able to outspin his opponent by quite a large margin. Zeno wasn't going to let Shin Sang Hyun take the lead for too long. In round 2, Zeno won a point by survivor finish. In round 3, Shin Sang Hyun took the lead once again, winning by survivor finish. The final 4th round was really intense. Shin Sang Hyun chose to use Arc Balkesh B3, and Zeno chose to use Spryzen Requiem S3. 3, 2, J'entends le choc juste ici là. Commence à broncher. Déséquilibre pour ce premier. Allez, 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 In the other bracket, we had another intense battle going on. In this semi-finals bracket, we had Balanced Defender from Latvia and Shuai Shuai from Taiwan. Balanced Defender gained 2 points from winning the first 2 rounds by survivor finishes. And then he switched up his style in the 3rd round with Excalius X3, where Shuai Shuai was able to outlast Balanced Defender's attack type Bay. In the last round, it was Spryzen Rec Room S3 versus another Spryzen Rec Room S3, where Balanced Defender claimed the base stadium center position first. Balanced Defender's Spryzen Rec Room S3 managed to retain stamina better, and Balanced Defender moved on to the finals with his third point. Alright, championship match. So we have Balanced Defender from Latvia versus Shin Sang Hyun from Korea. The winner between these two bladers gets crowned world champion. 
In round one, both challengers used Balkesh B3. Shin Seng Hyung's powerful launch took the first point with a survivor finish. In round two of this matchup, Shin Seng Hyun used Kalzar K3 and Balanced Defender used Spryzen Requiem S3. Both bladers managed to pull off a barrage of attacks against each other, but Balanced Defender took the win by burst finish, gaining two points and gaining the lead. Round 3 was super intense because it was Balanced Defender's match point. With just one more point, he has the potential in this battle to take the title of World Champion. The energy layer they chose in this third round were the same. Drain Fafner F3. Shin Seng Hyung managed to snag a little bit more stamina compared to Balanced Defender and he takes another point, which means we're now tied for two points and we move on to round four. Both the bladers were able to pick which bay they wanted to use for this next matchup. Shin Seng Hyun chose Arc Balkesh B3 and Balanced Defender chose Spryzen Requiem S3. We were sweating during this final battle because we thought this would be the end. But both of the bladers performed very well and ended up in another tie. Both of the bays stopped rotating at the exact same time. With the battle ending in a tie, that means we have to move to round 5. In round 5, these challengers used the same bays as round 4. Wow. L'attente est beaucoup trop dure. Je veux savoir, je veux savoir. Lettonie, Corée du Sud. Madame Stefanda versus Sixangian. Ça va être dur, ça va être dur. Ça va être encore une fois très, très serré. Allez, le public, on les encourage. Le public. Allez, criez votre toupie préférée. Déséquilibre chez les deux toupies. This final round was super intense, and Balanced Defender took the win. He scored the final point with a survivor finish, winning by what looked like half a rotation. Huge congrats to Balanced Defender for taking the world title. He was crowned the Beyblade Burst 2018 World Champion. Also, of course, congrats to all the other bladers that competed during this World Championship. It was such a fun and intense event. Afterwards, the bladers even got to meet the creator of Beyblade Burst manga series, Hiro Morita. So this wraps up the Beyblade Burst World Championship 2018. And this wraps up this episode as well. Yeah, the tournament was super exciting. And because we live in Canada, so we actually had to wake up in the middle of the night to catch the Paris livestream. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to actually wake up for it, but uh, yeah, I watched it all. We saw a lot of Arc Balkesh B3, and we saw a lot of Spryzen Requiem S3. Um, what else? A lot of Dream Fafnir F3 as well. We saw Kalzar K3 a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you guys let us know in the comment section below which bay would you have used if you were in that tournament. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you want to stay connected on the world of Beyblade Burst, follow Beyblade Burst on the social media pages. Alright, so that's it. This wraps up this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. See ya.